Hello friends, my name is Vikas, Vikas Shinde. I am from Vibrant Minds Technologies and today we are here to discuss about a topic and the topic is related to freshers. Now, the topic is which programming language is useful for fresher to get a job? As you know, there are a lot of programming languages in the market and as a fresher, which language is very useful for you to get a job? Let's understand this. Now, to get a job as a fresher, you need to check first thing is like in which technology there are a lot of job opportunities and that technology you should learn first, right? Now, learning technology which is very famous or used by different companies and that technology is Java. Number one, why is Java? Okay, now first thing, it is very popular. Secondly, Java is used by different IT companies worldwide. Okay, and since Java is used by different IT companies, there are huge job openings in Java. Now, as a fresher, there is a high competition in the market. And if you want to learn something, that language should give you a lot of job opportunities continuously in the market. Now, job openings are available in the Java language or different companies, multinational startups as well as small scale industries are hiring in Java. And since different companies, all, all level of companies, this all type of companies hires uh, Java developers. And there you should learn first now before starting learning java what you need to understand is c language you need to have understanding about c language then c++ language and then you should go for java in java also there is core java and advanced java there are two parts now what you need to do is you need to start with the C language. If you are from IT background or even if you are from uh, different background, then the steps will be C language, C++ and then Java. In Java, full and advanced, that is what is expected. Now, if you learn Java, then it, there are high chances of getting a job in IT industry. Now, of course, in Java, you will get very good packages. as it is most used programming language worldwide right now how to learn java only learning java i i mean to say like how to learn i mean to say where you should start how you should start as i said first you need to learn c then c plus plus and then you should start with the java now Learning Java means learning there are different modes. First thing, you can start in self-study mode. Secondly, you can join any classroom training. And third thing, you can learn online. This is online mode, online platform. Now self-study I mean to say, there are a lot of books, you should, you can read a lot of books and you can do self-study and from that you can get idea about Java. Of course you need to have, you need to do a lot of practice uh, related to Java, programming concepts and object oriented concepts and lot of things. Now classroom, another option is classroom training, that is training institutes. Now there are various training institutes in every city. And if you'll specifically talk about Pune, then Vibrant Minds Technology is one of the best IT training company which provides real-time expertise to candidates which will help them to get a job. And you can learn from training institute like Vibrant Minds Technologies if you are in Pune. And the third thing is online mode. There are a lot of platforms which provides technical uh, video lectures or 
technical training specifically related to Java and you can learn in online mode also. But as a fresher, I would suggest you to learn through IT training institute or a classroom board. So training institute, reason I will tell you, training institutes will help you to get a knowledge in classroom training as well as the most important factor is placement. Now, wherever you are learning Java or if you will join any training institute, if you, are, if you want to join any training institute, in that case, you should check for the placement assistance provided by that training institute. And it should be 100%. Now, every institute says that they are having 100% uh, placement and they provide a lot of good opportunities. Now, how to check that? If all of them are providing 100% placement assistance, then why there are a lot of people who are unemployed, right? Now, I would suggest you to first check their website. Second, online reviews. Third thing, now this is important. Now, online reviews, this, this is tricky. Sometimes they can be created or posted by that company. So you need to be very careful. If those online reviews are from last only couple of months or one month, then you can think that something is fishy over there. Or what you can do is, you can check all on different platforms. Of course, website will give you idea. Then you can actually visit that training institute directly. And check all facts and figures, note it down. Then the another option is, or another method is, visit their existing students, talk to their existing students. Okay, now this is again important. If you will talk to their existing student, you will be able to understand what exactly is happening over there because they are using training services of that particular training institute and they, they can give you best feedback about that training institute. Next, of course you can check on social media, all facts and figures which will give you idea. Note it down, means I mean to say you should uh, check each and everything, note it down and then verify. Of course. There are lot of options which can give you idea about that training institute and which are the clients or what type of placement they provide. Then course structure or syllabus you need to check. Then you should check for infrastructure, how that infrastructure is. All these parameters, first thing is website, second is online reviews, third thing is visiting the training institute and try, you can try to understand how good is that training institute. You can talk to their existing student and you can try to get the real time feedback of that training institute. Next, social media, check on social media or try to connect with the people those who are passed out of that training institute or check the previous postings, old postings, then you can check for the uh, clients list, what kind of client or what kind of uh, campus drives they organize and then you can check what is the course syllabus and the importantly number of hours. Practically many times it is said that it is a two months course but every day you, if you are learning only one hour then two months course actually is 60 hours training only. and. That's why you need to check on the number of hours also. Then you should check how good is infrastructure of that training institute. Now, considering all these points, if you check each and everything and verify from different angles, then you will be able to get the right training institute and there you should try to learn Java. Of course, as I said, the focus should be placement. 
because as a fresher there are very uh, limited options and if that training institute is providing good placement then that will be helpful to you because after learning any technology you will be seeking for a job and if that training institute is providing good placement then that will be useful to you and whatever you are learning that will be uh, uh, resulted that can result into a job right now keep it in mind that everybody says that they provide 100% placement assistance but i would say that you need to verify all those facts and figures by visiting yourself by checking all facts and figures and then taking the decision so you will not regret about that training institute because in every city there are lot of training institutes every after every 100 uh, meters you will get a tra it training institute in each and every city now what is the different about uh, vibrant minds after we conduct daily 8 hours training and we focus on theory practical as well as the project project and most importantly the placement our focus is job only we are known for the fresher recruitment in the market and when we get the students for trainings we specifically check if they are employable and what things are needed to be improved so they can be employable if they are not employable and we provide best placement assistance to freshers thank you